integers and directed numbers this is one of the most important topics in mathematics it is very important that if you're able to grab this chapter directed numbers there's nothing in mathematics you will understand so i want us to pay special attention to this concept of integers and directed numbers now I'll still emphasize that this is one of the most important topics in mathematics and if you understand this chapter very well there's nothing in mathematics you won't understand now before now we've looked at integers and integers will explain them as whole numbers before now we already know about fractions and in previous chapter we looked at decimals now apart from decimals this is an example of a decimal we also have numbers called fractions an example of a fraction is one and half this is a fraction and the same thing as 1.5 now in integers are whole numbers for example 1 10 22 25 they are known as integers now what are directed numbers before now you may be thinking that when you count down from let's say 9 count down to 8 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, you get to 0. Now it doesn't end at 0. And that's the point of directed numbers. You understand the direction? We're going this way, down up to 0. Down to 0. When you get to 0, it doesn't end there. Now, when we get to 0, we now have another section which is now negative. We now start with minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, and it keeps going down. Okay? So, this brings us to something we call a number line. This is a number line. It's a straight line. And the middle of the straight line is our point 0. Numbers increase this way. 1... 2, 3, 4, down to infinity. And it decreases this way. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, till you get to, for example, minus 10, minus 1,000, minus 10,000, minus 1 million, and so on and so forth. So that means that minus 10 is actually less than minus 1. I hope you understand. Now this is our sign for less than. Less than goes your left hand and your greater than your right hand. Let's say this is a human being this way. So less than is this way. Greater than is this way. Okay? So minus 10 is less than minus 1 and minus 1 is greater than minus 2 I hope you understand this concept very well numbers increase this way these are numbers increase this way but decrease down the number line this way okay so these are number line now with this number line, with our directed numbers, we can do a lot of mathematics. Before now in mathematics, when you are told to do 1 minus 3, our normal answer is it cannot go. But this time around, we're not going to teach you how to, when you are giving something like this, 1 minus 3, you can actually subtract 3 from 1. Now let's take this as our example, 1 minus 3. Now 1, let's go to our number line, this is where 1 is. Let's see, the person standing here. 1 minus 3 means that, as you mean standing at 1, count 3 steps backwards. So you now count 1, 2, and 3. So our answer becomes minus 2, which is where you landed. Now let's take another example. 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2 means that you are standing at position 4. And I told to go two steps backwards. That's mean of minus. And it gives us 
2. Okay? So just like we know that 5 minus 3 equals 2. So if you are at position 5, which is here, you can count 1, 2, 3. And you land at point 2. So that's how we got to. So also when you are giving 2 minus 3, 2 minus 3 means to your hair. And you are supposed to move 3 steps towards the negative direction, which is 1, 2, 3. And our answer equals minus 1. Okay, so now with this, look at the number line. Let's take solve more examples. 5 minus 6. I need to count. What's the answer? If I'm too fast, I can pause it and count. It should give you minus 1. 0 minus 2. What's the answer? Minus 2. Fine. 3 minus 5. What's your answer? Minus 2. Another example. Minus 2 minus 5. Now, from here, that means we are standing at minus 2. We will now count 5 steps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that takes us to this is minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7. So our answer becomes minus 7. Let's take another one. Minus 3 minus 1 gives us what? Yeah, minus, minus 3. And you remove, take one step backwards, it takes you to minus 4. Now let's look at another alternative. Let's come to this side. Minus 3 plus 2. Plus tells you you are going towards the positive side. So minus 3 means you are here. And you now count towards the positive side, which is 1, 2. So we we'll land here, which is minus minus 1. Now this is how you, you do your number line, the directed numbers. But at this point, I'm going to give you a very short way of doing this mod, um, addition, subtraction. Now this is how we're going to do it. Addition and subtraction of directed numbers. When I'm giving something like minus 2, minus 3, if you count, I need to count a number line. What you have, your answer will become minus 5. Now, take this rule down and memorize it. Whenever you have two numbers that are supposed to be added or divided, if the signs, by signs I mean it negative or positive sign, this or this, if the signs are the same, Mm -hmm. What should you do? You add. But if the signs are different, what you should do is subtract. Okay. So now we use this mnemonic. If same, add. If different, subtract. So let's repeat it. If same, add. If different, subtract. If same, add. If different, subtract. Okay? So, but that's not all. If same, add. If different, subtract. But you now give sign of largest number. Hmm? Let's take an example so you understand it more. 4 plus 5. Looking at this number, the actual, this 4 is a positive number. So we can easily put a plus here. So this is same as saying plus 4 plus 5. Now, with our rule, if same add. So since the numbers are, the signs are the same, plus plus will now add. And it gives us 9. But this 9 will give the sign of the largest number. The largest number is 5 and the sign is plus so our answer is plus 9 which is the same thing as saying 9 let's take an example 2 plus 3 is the same thing as saying plus 2 plus 3 the signs are the same so if same add we'll add and it gives us 5 the sign of the largest number the largest number is 3 and the sign is plus so our answer is plus 5 which is the same thing as saying 5 now as we have minus 2 minus 3 if same, the signs are the same. If same, add. 
So we'll add 2 plus 3 results 5. We'll now give you the sign of the number that is largest, which is 3, and the sign is minus. So our answer is minus 5. Okay? Let's take another example. Minus 7 minus 2. If same, add. So the, sign, the signs are the same. I'll add. When we'll add, we'll have 9. I'll give you the sign of the number that is largest, which is minus. So our answer is minus 9. Now, another example. Minus 2 plus 3. If same, add. If different, subtract. So since they are di different, you subtract. Obviously, to subtract, you do 3 minus 2. And it gives us 1. And you give it the sign of the number that is largest, which is 3. So our answer is plus 1, which is 1. Another example, minus 5 plus 4. If same, add. If different, subtract. So the signs are different. We we'll subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1. You now give it the sign of the number that is largest, which is 5. The sign is minus. So our answer is minus 1. Now I hope you understand this. If you don't understand it, please rewind and listen carefully so you understand it then also solve the examples at the end of this chapter to also help you understand the concept now we're now going to look at multiplication and division of directed numbers multiplication and division of directed numbers okay now, let's say you have minus 5 times minus 4. Or 5 times minus 4. How do you multiply directed numbers? Okay. Now, also, let's take this rule down. If same, if same, the final answer becomes positive if different the final answer becomes negative okay so if same minus minus they're the same minus times minus will give you if same it becomes positive but if different let's say minus and plus positive minus and plus or plus and minus if different it still remains negative it becomes negative so if same positive if different negative do you understand so minus 5 times minus 4 if same they are the same so it becomes positive then do 5, five times 4 it gives us 20 so minus 5 times minus 4 is 20 okay now let's take an example 5 times minus 4 if different this is plus 5 5 times 4 is 20. If different, they are different. It still remains negative. Okay? Let's take an example. Minus 3 times minus 2. 3 times 2 is what? 6. Now, if same, it becomes positive. So, our answer is 6. It's just as simple as that. So, that means minus times minus. Since they are the same, it becomes positive. Positive plus times minus since since they are the same since they are different it becomes negative minus times plus since they are different it still remains negative then plus times plus since they are the same it remains positive now never forget this rule now let's take some examples to explain these points very well Now, the example we we'll use, we we'll use um, higher numbers. Okay, we we'll have something like this. Minus 12 plus minus 7. Minus 12 plus minus 7. So, first of all, the first thing we're going to do is simplify this. Minus 12 plus minus 7 is the same thing as minus 12 minus 7. That's because this, when you have minus and plus, 
like we did the um, the previous one if difference it remains negative but if same if they are the same it becomes positive so because these two they are actually multiplying in the real sense of it this is actually multiplying this so if difference it remains negative so when you remove the brackets this remains negative so it becomes minus 12 minus 7 which minus minus don't forget our addition and subtraction rule or you, if since the signs are the same since the signs are the same you simply add 12 plus 7 gives us 19 I now give you the sign of the largest number which is minus 19 so this is our answer let's take another example minus 36 plus 21 since the signs are different our final answer since the signs are different what we're going to do is to subtract so we'll do 36 minus 21 6 minus 1 is 5 3 minus 2 is 15 so our answer is 15 but we give you the sign of the largest number which is minus and that is minus 15 okay now let's take another example and this example goes this way 30045 plus 2106 then you have star 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 gives you 43262 so what I to find is to find this missing number represented as stars. Okay, so the first step to do is to add these two. Once you add these two, you then subtract. You use this to subtract this, and you have this. So we'll add this. This is two one zero six. One will add this two. Let's do it here. Three zero zero four five plus two one zero six. 5 plus 6 is 11, which is here. 1 plus 4 is 5 plus 0, it means 5. 0 plus 1, 1. 0 plus 2, 2. Then you bring it 3 down. 3, 2, 1, 5, 1. So what we now have is 3, 2, 1, 5, 1. Star, 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 star. Will give us 4, 3, 2, 6, 2. So this plus this gives you this. So now get this third number. All you need to do is to let's represent it this way: three, two, one, five, one. Plus, let's call this star star star. Let's call it x equals four, three, two, six, two. So, like we did it before, to find this x, we'll take this down to the uh, this other side. When you take it to this other side, since this is positive, but we don't normally write it. Once it crosses its equal sign, it becomes negative. So x now becomes 4, 3, 2, 6, 2, minus 3, 2, 1, 5, 1. Okay? Now let's put it this way to subtract. 4, 3, 2, 6, 2, minus 3, 2, 1, 5, 1. 2 minus 1 gives us 1. 6 minus 5 gives us 1. 2 minus 1 gives us 1. 3 minus 2 gives us 1. 4 minus 3 gives us 1. So our answer is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So let's now represent it. Write it here. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So this is our answer. Okay. Let's take another example to help us understand these concepts better. So our example goes this way. 2 plus minus 3 plus 7 minus 6 plus minus 4. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to remove the brackets. Now I told you in actual sense this is actually multiplying this. So plus minus when you multiply it remains negative. Don't forget our rule plus minus gives remains negative plus plus remains positive minus minus remain goes to positive if same it becomes positive but if different 
it becomes negative when you're multiplying so this 2 becomes 2 minus 3 then we'll bring down plus 7 then this don't forget I told you when you see a number without a sign it's actually plus so plus minus is minus so we'll now have 7 minus 6 this 2 also becomes minus so you now have 2 minus 3 plus 7 minus 6 minus 4 so now let's do it this way the easiest way to do this is to bring all the numbers with the same sign to one side let's not forget this is plus so we now have plus 2 this is also plus plus 7 we'll bring it to one side which other one has a plus none so we'll bring this minus 3 and minus 3 then minus 6 and minus 4 let's do the plus first before we do the minus so plus 2 plus 7 gives us 9 mm -hmm. then minus 6 minus 3 minus 6 minus 4 I told you always add then give you the sign of the number that is largest okay so 3 plus 6 plus 4 is what 3 plus 6 is 9 9 plus 4 is 13 so this is 13 I give you the sign of this like largest which is minus so we now have 9 minus 13 so this is the same thing as saying plus 9 minus 13 so like which I said before if the signs are different you subtract so we will now do 13 minus 9 we we'll have 4 I will now give you the sign of this number that is largest okay which is minus 4 so this is our final answer okay let's take another question and this one goes this way find the difference between 24 and minus 4 find the difference difference is 24 minus minus 4 so I told you this is actually multiplying this so minus minus don't forget to always give us a plus so it's now 24 plus 4 24 plus 4 is 28 so that's our answer another example that looks like it goes this way find the difference between minus 16 and minus 4 so this is minus 16 uh, minus minus 4 so remove the brackets this is actually multiplying this so minus minus becomes plus so you now have minus 16 plus 4 so the signs are different <laughs> we'll subtract 16 minus 4 gives us 12 I will now give you the sign of this number that is largest which is minus so our answer is minus 12 so that is our final answer now let's take other examples for um, multiplication and division of directed numbers and our first example goes this way plus 2 times minus 10 okay we've done something like this before just multiply 2 times 10 is 20 so this is minus this is this is plus this is minus you are multiplying don't always for, don't ever forget plus minus gives us minus minus plus still gives us minus plus plus gives us plus minus minus gives us minus if they are the same minus minus I'm sorry gives us plus when you are multiplying or dividing so if they are the same the sign remains plus but if they are different the sign is negative so this is our division and multiplication rule but our addition and subtraction rule goes this way if the signs are the same let's say minus and minus or plus and plus once the signs are the same always add if same add but if the signs are different of this you subtract 
then at the end you now give it the sign of the largest number okay so this is our addition and subtraction this is for division and multiplication okay so plus 2 times minus 10 plus minus gives us minus and 2 times 10 is 20 let's take another example minus 7 times minus 3 times minus 2 okay so remove the brackets minus 7 times minus 3 times minus 2 so let's multiply gradually minus 7 times minus 3 so minus minus gives us what's a plus so it becomes plus then 7 times 3 is 21 so you now have to plus 21 times minus 2 so plus times minus is minus so write the minus 21 times 2 gives us 42 so our answer is minus 42 okay another example is another example goes this way minus 15 divided by minus 3 so minus minus division and multiplication will always give us a plus then 15 divided by 3 as you all know is 5 so our answer is plus 5 now another example minus 8 times plus 5 all over minus 10 let's take the top first minus times plus will give us minus 8 times 5 will give us 40 then bring this one over minus 10 so minus divided minus will give us plus then 40 divided by 10 this zero will cancel this zero 4 divided by 1 remains 4 so our answer is plus 4 okay so at the, this is the end of the chapter now what I want you to do now is solve further examples to help you understand everything we've talked about this is the basics of mathematics and it is the most important topic in mathematics okay so now click on take quiz and solve all the examples